Hi Seals, we're on chapter 7 um, of Pages and Co, Tilly and the Book Wanderers, um, and it's called Imaginary Friends. So we're starting to realise that Tilly's might be meeting characters in books, so she thinks she's met Anne from um, Green Gables and Alice in Wonderland. Okay, so an hour or so later with a slight smell of burnt sugar in the air, Jack sent Tilly round to Crumbs with some pop cakes. It had taken him a few batches, but he had finally perfected them so that when you bit into one, you got a mouthful of lovely sticky honey. As Tilly stepped onto the street, the fresh air and streams of people clutching takeaway coffee cups and mobile phones were reassuringly solid and familiar. Pushing open the door to Crumbs, she saw that Oscar was in his usual spot, this time doodling on a notepad. What's that I spy? Mary said. Is there an offering from Jack? Yes. Tilly replied, holding the cake box up. Pop cakes fresh from the oven. They're best now while the honey is still a bit warm. She opened the box and Mary took one. Jack sent enough for Oscar too, Tilly said loudly and he looked up hopefully. Let me bring you some drinks to have with them, Mary said, pulling another chair up to the table. Oscar was sitting and nudging Tilly into it. What are you drawing? Tilly asked him as she took her coat off. Oscar spread his arms over the paper like he was trying to stop someone copying a test at school. Nothing much, only scribbling, just something to do, he said. Oh, OK, Tilly said embarrassed at having made him uncomfortable. She messed with the ends of her hair as he painstakingly sm smoothed the bent corner of paper. So, uh, what's your favourite kind of cake? Oscar asked awkwardly after a pause. Carrot cake, I think, Tilly said, surprised at the line of questioning. What's yours? Red velvet. I like that too, Tilly replied, unsure how the conversation had dried up so much since that morning. I like carrot cake too. The silence seemed to solidify, solidify around them. Anyway, I'm not really very hungry, Tilly said, standing up and banging her knee against the table as her coat sleeve got twisted around the back of her chair. I was just bringing the cakes over for your mum. See you in school. Don't go, Oscar said abruptly, watching Tilly untangle herself. She stopped wrestling with her coat. I mean, I just wanted to ask which book you decided to read for English homework, Oscar said, picking at his fingernails. I think I'm going to read one of my mum's old favourites, Tilly said. You know, I found that box of her books the other day. Well, I thought I might choose one of those that I haven't read yet. Maybe Treasure Island? I love that one, Oscar said. You've read it? Well, I've listened to the audiobook if that counts. It definitely counts, Tilly said. They both fell silent as Mary bought them two glasses of orange juice and two pop cakes on pattern plates. Everything okay? she said. Yes, fine, thank you, Tilly replied automatically. Then, after a moment, she asked, Mary, who's your favourite character from a book? Oh, what a tricky question, Mary paused in thought as Tilly and Oscar ate their pop cakes. I think it would have to be Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. Have either of you read it? Oscar hadn't, but Tilly nodded her head. Although she hadn't actually read it, she'd only seen the TV version that her grandma watched every Christmas. Do you ever think about what you would say to her if she was real? Tilly asked. I can't say that I ever have before, Tilly, but it's an interesting question, isn't it? I suppose I'd ask her what it was like in her family and what Mr Darcy was really like. I must admit, Tilly, that part, that part of the reason I love her is how much she reminds me of your mum. What? Tilly blurted, remembering the conversation with her grandma earlier. Yes. I always thought that Bee had a similar sense of humour to Lizzie and your mum. Lizzie's and your mum was a very sharp observer of people. Tilly, honestly, she used to make me giggle describing some of the customers who came in to Pages and Co. It would be fun, wouldn't it, to be able to talk to Lizzie Bennet? Although I wonder if she would be like I imagine her, if I actually met her. I bet she wouldn't, Oscar said. I think if you met your favourite character, they'd just be disappointing. It would be meeting like it would be meeting a famous person. They wouldn't be as nice as you thought, and they probably wouldn't want to talk to you anyway. Well, I think it's a lovely idea. If only it were real, eh, Tilly? Mary laughed and went back to the counter. Tilly looked at Oscar appraisingly. Oscar, she whispered. What would you do if it was real? If what was real? Oscar asked, confused. If you could really talk to your favourite characters. I don't know. Ask some stuff. It's not, though, is it? That's the whole point. Tilly kept going. But maybe it is. But really, Tilly, it isn't. Why are we going round in circles like this? He sounded bemused. Tilly took a deep breath. I'm seeing characters from my favourite books, she announced. 
Oscar slowly looked up at her as though he wasn't sure whether she was having him on. Tilly? No, don't look like that, Tilly interrupted. I swear I was reading my mum's old copy of Anne of Green Gables when a girl called Anne with red hair turned up in the bookshop. And then I read Alice in Wonderland and a girl called Alice wearing a big blue dress appeared. And I think my granddad might have been talking to Sherlock Holmes as well. And then my grandma was talking to someone she and to someone she said reminded her of my mum like... Your grandparents think they're seeing book characters too? Oscar nervously asked. Oh no, well I don't know. I haven't asked them. I need to do some more investigating first. Sorry, that was just my dog. Was it your mum's copy of Alice in Wonderland as well? Oscar asked after a pause. Yes, from the box of her old books, Tilly explained impatiently. And my mum gave you that photo of her yesterday, didn't she? He went on. Yeah, and? Well... Don't take this the wrong way, Oscar said quietly. But do you think maybe it's just been, just been a bit of a weird time with all this stuff about your mum coming up with the coming up with the books and the photo and um maybe the characters aren't actually in the shop. You're just imagining them a bit harder than usual. I mean, I definitely had an imaginary friend when I was little. He was called Xavier and he was from Newcastle and he was ginger. But anyway, you don't need to be embarrassed with me. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have my mum around. Tilly's face flushed hot. You don't believe me? It's not that I don't believe you, it's just... I should have known you wouldn't understand, she said, standing up. Why? Because no one ever does. Sorry, Oscar said, sounding as embarrassed as she felt. It's just, you know that you're not really talking to fictional characters, don't you? Tilly grabbed what was left of her pop cake and walked out without saying goodbye. Oh, so I've got a question for you and see if you can respond to my question. Email it to me. How would you feel if you were Tilly or if you were Oscar? You can choose. Do you think your friends would believe you if you saw fictional characters? Do you think Tilly is really seeing them in real life or do you think she's imagining them? Imagining them. Let me know. Send me an email. And I'll get back to you. I can share it on Twitter or anything like that. So let me know. You can send me a little video book review if you like. That'd be fantastic. All right. Hope you're safe and well. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.